Okay, so continuing on the examples of using the inverse norm, um, in this video, a machine produces boxes with a standard deviation of 20 grams. The mean can be adjusted to any value. It is required that only 3% of boxes weigh less than 750 grams. To what mean must the machine be set? So if we draw a little diagram for this, then we have this mean value that we don't currently know. That's what we need to find. But we do know that we want 3% to be uh, less than 750 grams. So that's the 750 grams there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to compare this with the standardised normal. where this is also going to be 3%. So I can work out that value of Z. And in order to do that, we do the inverse norm of 0.03. Okay, which we now do on the calculator. We want the bottom 3%. So 3% corresponds to in decimal 0.03. So we want to find the inverse norm of 0.03. So we go into the distributions, so second, VARS, down to inverse norm, press enter. We want the inverse norm of 0 0.03, so 0 0.03, close the bracket, press enter. And there we have our Z statistic, minus 1.8807936.1, that's our value of Z. We calculated the inverse norm of 0 0.03 to be minus... 1.8808 to four decimal places, okay? So that's the value of Z here. So now what I can do is I can use the formula Z is equal to X minus mu over sigma, um, where we have minus 1.8808. I'm going to use the... Uh, the full display here, so 7 dot 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 dot, is equal to x, which I have, that's the 750, take away the mean, which is what I want, divided by the standard deviation, which was 20. So I rearrange this formula to get the mean, so times by 20, and then I'm going to take it away from 750. which means my mean must be set to 787.6 to one decimal place. So 787.6 grams. And that will mean that only 3% will be less than 750 grams.